Hello there. This is where the fun begins. What's up guys, unofficial Star Wars here. I hope you're all doing well, and in this video, we have some news, insider news, about Lucasfilm recently closing one of their ILM's animation and VFX operations in Singapore, known for the work on the Clone Wars and so much more within the Star Wars universe. We're gonna go ahead and hop right on into it. With exactly why this is happening, and also for how and why this is even important. Why do you guys care? Why and how does this affect Star Wars. In this video, we are going to be taking a read from StarWarsNewsNet.com. I'll have their article linked in the description down below for you guys to check out there as well. As they read, Lucasfilm to close ILM's animation and VFX operations in Singapore, known for their work on the Clone Wars and more animation projects within Star Wars and Lucasfilm in an effort to consolidate their global footprint. ILM has announced that this week that they are shutting down their VFX VFX and animation operations in Singapore over the next several months as a result of the shifting entertainment landscape and likely implemented as part of Disney's overall plan to shrink their workforce and streamline their budgets. With the official Disney CEO coming forward recently, Bob Iger, and saying that they want to pull back on many Disney Plus projects, especially this is where you see a lot of those Lucasfilm animation projects being released like Tales of the Jedi. Clone Wars, Bad Batch, and Star Wars Visions because the CEO of Disney has said that they want to cut back and reduce a lot of their costs and that there was a lot of spending going on with overall Disney Plus projects especially. That goes for both inside and outside of Star Wars as well. And that apparently that they are making other cuts in other franchises like in with Marvel as well. Now, the official statement to Variety that Disney had said that over the next several months, ILM would will be consolidating its global footprint and winding down its Singapore studio due to economic factors affecting the industry. And I will say that no, you can't place the blame entirely on probably what we're all thinking here, the ongoing strikes, but it does make you kind of scratch your head. Why doesn't Disney just be the bigger person at this point and actually negotiate with their workers? They also mentioned that they want to consolidate their overall global footprint, which is a legitimate uh, idea out there as well. So to be fair, there are are a lot of multiple contributing factors going into as of why this overall studio is shutting down. This is also a very legendary building just in the overall industry, especially with Star Wars and Lucasfilm. I mean, looking at the shape of the building, it's often called and referred to as the Sandcrawler Building. The Singapore studio, founded in 2004, is primarily known within the Star Wars community for its work on the Clone Wars, both the animated show and the movie as well, as they had began in 2004. Six. The studio currently employs approximately 300 people, which it's a very large building for only having that many people in there, who will now be forced to find other work and that are kind of being let go from Disney, unfortunately, or to potentially relocate to another ILM office. In a statement earlier this week, ILM themselves had said that we would like to thank the Singapore government, industry, and community for their partnership over the past 17 years. We have been able to train and employ a generation of of production talent, visual effects artists, and animators. We're very proud of the incredible work the team in Singapore has accomplished and look forward to providing new opportunities for Singapore talent to continue to innovate the work that they do. So now, with the studio closing over the next several months, not exactly permanently as it seems, ILM aims to give employees as much notice as possible to make plans. ILM is headquartered in San Francisco, but also holds offices in Vancouver, London, Sydney, and Mumbai. So really all over the world. I'm kind of a little up in the air though, however. It's not exactly entirely clear on if they're closing like now for good or if they'll be closing for a couple of months and then coming back. So maybe if you guys know a little bit more on that, let me know in the comment section down below. But I'm going to go with that they're closing down permanently, unfortunately, but are going to go through this process for the next couple of months in an effort and in order to give these employees as much uh, notice as possible for them to relocate to other companies. ILM has also communicated that they will be collaborating with the local business community to conduct a job fair for the employees as well. In response to this news, the Singapore Economic Development Board and the Infocom Media Development Authority has released a joint statement on top of that, saying that Lucasfilm's decision to wind down its Singapore operations is a response to the changes in the industry and business
dangerous conditions. The global media industry is facing disruption from rapid technological advancements while studios are coping with challenges relating to talent and profitability. And throughout Lucasfilm's tenure in Singapore, the company has developed world-class digital animation talent for the industry through knowledge and skills transfer. Our Singaporean talent have worked alongside and learned from the experienced producers, enabling them to develop their skills and play on the world stage. We are proud that Singaporeans have worked on Hollywood blockbusters such as Jurassic World, Dominion, and Marvel's The Internals. Many have moved on to roles in media companies like Netflix or have gone on to start their own companies. In addition to that, Lucasfilm's leaders actively contributed to the training generations of students in digital and tech skills of polytechnics and institutes of higher learning. So they do have a lot to say on that forefront and really make it into the regards of like cutting budgets essentially from Disney overall and that it isn't necessarily because of the strikes or because because of the cutbacks that Disney is making necessarily and that that is also kind of for the idea and the fact of that there's a lot of technological advancements that are going on in the industry and that there are other locations of that nature that Disney and Lucasfilm are more prominent to work on with their animated projects. In these tumultuous times for the entertainment industry though however it certainly feels as though we are receiving negative news stories after negative news stories while this closure doesn't concern the greatly for Lucasfilm animation nor the viality of ILM, I certainly hope that the transition is as smooth as possible for the 300 employees in Singapore and that they are able to find new work. That there being said, it does sound that this studio will be closing down permanently and is doing it over the course of the next couple of months, unfortunately, as a result of these multiple things that are ongoing in the entertainment industry. Disney cutting back on their costs, the ongoing strikes is arguable and also for the idea that there's a lot of technological kind of advancements here and it's not just all that much needed anymore. This year all being said it will be remembered it's very prominent for working on Clone Wars and other animated projects within Lucasfilm but mostly Clone Wars and that this doesn't actually affect any other animated projects going on with Star Wars like Tales of the Jedi or the Bad Batch those are safe and nothing's really going to happen with those it doesn't really affect those. The studio doesn't just work for Lucasfilm either they mentioned that they work on Jurassic World and on Marvel projects as well. Anyway, let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. I would love to hear what you guys are all thinking. Of course, this has been an official Star Wars. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great one. May the Force be with you. Peace out.